Well, I mean, now we're just stuck in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, it's kind of a difficult situation. Honey, dinner is ready. <laughs> Super grappig. Yesterday, we were trying to find a, a spot to camp. We are in the Western Sahara right now and uh, we were going to the border with Mauritania. But, well, we wanted to go kind of, you know, from the, the main road so people couldn't see us camping. And um, we found this really nice spot. I mean, I'll show you. It's a great spot, it's near the ocean. Okay, I'll tell you what happened yesterday when we parked here, I wanted to put the car on a spot which was kind of even ground because, uh, because of the rooftop tent. And when I was doing it, there was this, this bump of sand behind the wheel. And the car couldn't get up, the, up this small sandy hill Instead of stalling the engine, it uh, what happened was, uh, well, my my gears. I was in reverse, and all of a sudden, I I was trying to drive up this this small hill, and the engine st started revving like crazy, like the the gas pedal was stuck, and the um, the gear stick moved to the side, so. I killed it of course, I killed the ignition, uh, so the engine stopped revving and just shut down, but Stephanie thought that this, uh, that the gear, that it slipped out of gear and that's why the engine started revving because I was giving it gas or whatever, but it wasn't because I wasn't giving it any. Immediately I know there was something like big damage, like at first I thought it was something was broken in the gearbox because of the gear lever moving all the way to the side all of a sudden but I opened up the hood of the car and I saw something which I didn't really anticipate being able to happen nor is it fixable right now so I'll show you what happened the engine itself and the gearbox and you know the transmission everything is bolted onto the chassis but it's held in by rubbers and these big rubbers they reduce the vibration and everything but they completely hold the engine the whole engine was turned clockwise like it was in this position instead of vertically so these are the the rubbers that's one of them and then there's another one on this side which I'm not sure if you can see it's there and then there's two more holding the one on the side of the gearbox and one on the side of the transfer case but all four of them snapped at the same time so I did this this kind of temporary fix to hold the the engine and everything in place these rocks are holding the transmission and then those rocks 
with some wood I found on the beach to well make sure that the the weight is distributed evenly and and this uh, there's no sharp pieces or anything this one is on the on the sump the problem is nobody can tow us out not that there is anyone but nobody can tow us out because the engine and transmission is still loose and the other problem is we can't start the car or do anything because the engine is loose. Well, luckily Pim was still with us on his uh, on his motorcycle. So what we did now is I just put the engine on uh, these blocks to keep it in place and I removed one of the rubbers and Pim is now uh, going to Dakla. That's the nearest city which has like mechanics and stuff. And luckily it's four, four of the same robbers and there's these old Land Rovers driving around here everywhere. So hopefully these robbers are the same as on the old one. I've never heard someone snap off all of the engine mount. Well, normally the engine just, you know, cuts out because the load is too much. Good morning. So yesterday after we went to bed, uh, Pim sent us a text message saying that he found uh, the rubbers and that he will be here this morning so uh, I hope he's coming soon, it's 11 now Okay, Pim returned today with some new rubbers. So, after some hours of doing mechanical work, the car is ready to go. Uh, tomorrow we will be going towards the border of Mauritania, because today it's already 5 p.m., so we're staying. If you enjoy watching our videos and you'd like to see more of our adventures, please like and subscribe.